Hey Conway, I'm Dalton here with your news for the day. Seniors, applications to the Elks Most Valuable Student Scholarship are available in guidance and the deadline to apply is December 7th. The CHS Tiger Pride Marching Band is now raising money through sale of two coupon books for the Conway and Beach area. The book sells for $20 and is worth $2,500 in savings. And if you would like to purchase a coupon book, please see a band member. In local news, around 10.16 p.m. on Friday evening, deputies with the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office received reports of a stabbing in the supply area of Brunswick County. Deputies found two victims of an apparent stabbing. One victim was unidentifiable, and they were 16, and the other was 22-year-old Michael Donovan of Supply. Both victims were transported to the new Hanover Regional Medical Center. Their conditions are not known at this time. A vehicle was stopped for a traffic violation approximately two hours after the stabbing occurred, and upon investigating, a deputy sheriff with the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office discovered the occupants of the vehicle were suspects in the stabbing. That's really coincidental. The suspects were 30-year-old Charlie Franklin Guy, 22-year-old Billy Kenneth Lotman, and 18-year-old Samantha Christy Ho Christine Hogan. All three suspects were apprehended and transported to the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. Around 10.22 p.m., a Leland police officer arrested 19-year-old Timothy Patrick Kennedy on an unrelated warrant, and an investigation led officers discovering that Kennedy was also a suspect in the stabbing. All four suspects are in custody with a bond of $150,000. That is some random, random stabbing. And in state and national news, Two researchers whose work has made for better batch-ups among students in the schools they wish to attend and between kidney donors and recipients were awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics Monday. Lloyd Shapley and Alvin E. Roth will share the $1.2 million prize for work that broke new theoretical ground and resulted in concrete uses for the theory, for that theory developed by Roth. It is an award that is not terribly relevant to the great macroeconomic crisis of today, but honors work that gave a deeper understanding of how markets work and put that knowledge to use for the practical benefit of humanity. Well, Conway, that's all for your news. Over to Club and Guidance Announcements and then Jess with your sports. Club and Guidance Announcements. Key Club, the next meeting is, is tomorrow, October 16th in the mini auditorium at 3.30. Avid Club's next meeting is October 17th, 3.30 p.m. in Miss Gibbs' room. Enter at club. Everyone interested should attend. Math Honor Society, pick up an application from Ms. Samson's room or Ms. Goldfinch's room. Students are reminded that they must be enrolled in a pre-calculus, must have a math and overall average of a 90. Applications are due October 12th. Beta Club's next meeting is November 7th. B is 15th for new members, 5 for returning. Bonus service hours for October. Bring in small pumpkins for special needs and arts classrooms. SAT and ACT Test waivers are reminding students that they must submit proof of eligibility before a waiver can be issued. Question, see Ms. Gajem. And that's live for your club and guidance announcements. Hey there, Conway High. This is Jessica Lasky. I'm here with your sports for today. A congratulations to the Varsity Conway High football team for, for their high-scoring win over West Ashley on Friday night. This win marks the team's second consecutive win, and next week the Tigers will resume region play against uh, South Florence Bruins. I'm sure they'll make us very proud. And a special congratulations is due to Michael Moody and Malcolm Green for their selection to the Shrine Bowl All-Star Team. The Shrine Bowl team is composed of the best players from both North and South Carolina. They will play each other on December 14th at Wofford College. Now let's go to our uh, Tiger scoreboard for the day. On Friday night, Conway battled West Ashley in the homecoming game where we came out victorious in a 56-45 win. Way to go, Tigers. And with our college scoreboard, South Carolina Gamecocks played the LSU Tigers on Saturday, and they lost 21-23 to and uh, dropped them a little bit in the polls. Bummer. And uh, Coastal Carolina lost to Stony Brook 21-27. to That's okay. They'll get them next time. Well, Conway, that's all for our sports today. Now let's go to, go to, let's go back to the studio now. That's where we're going guys. Well, Conway, that's all for your news. Hope you have a great day.